today I want to show you a cool little accessory that uh, Centroid has. Uh, a lot of machine builders have, but we're going to look at the Centroid today. It's the DP4 Touch Probe. And with this, uh, lining up your part is no longer a pain in the neck that it used to be. And you can get things done a lot more quickly than previously when you had to do things uh, one step at a time, a little bit here, a little bit there, a nudge, a tap. So this DP4 probe is going to let us center our fixture. We have a fixture here that we've had on and off the table several times. And we're going to get it right back to exactly where it was when we uh, initially made it. What we've done is we've bored a hole and put a, uh, a pin in here. It's a half inch pin. And it's secured onto the fixture plate. This way whenever we remove the plate from the machine we can come back and we can always register it off of there. Uh, previously we would use an edge but that's a little iffy because you know the edges can become damaged and uh, that'll throw you off. In a situation like this the pin is really nice. There's also a bore here. The bore is actually there because I made it a thousandth too big and the pin wouldn't fit snugly. Okay so now you know I'm not perfect. Uh, it's got a ruby tip. I don't know if you can see it but uh, there it is. You want to be careful with these probes because this well it's a delicate electronic instrument and these little tips are uh, quite expensive. They're on the order of almost $200. You You'll notice here we have a green light and you'll see when I push the probe the light goes green. So when it makes contact it knows what's going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this probe over close to our part. I'm going to bring it down a little and now I'm going to bring it over in X just to where I'm about a half an inch away and we'll take that down a little bit more okay we come over here to our console we're gonna set up the part and we want to do it F5 probe and we're gonna tell it we want to do a boss which is F2 alright boss diameter we've already put in half an inch clearance amount three quarters of an inch we're gonna press cycle start and you're gonna watch the probe comes in touches moves back up and over. This is really pretty slick. It'll come down again, it'll probe the other side. I want you to watch that green light. It touches, it backs off, and then it comes in slowly and gets the exact position. Now it'll come back to center and it'll probe in the Y direction. Again, up and over. If there's any little misalignment, the machine will compensate for that, so you don't have to worry about being exactly dead center. If you're a little bit off, it'll know it. Now it's probed all four sides. It's going to come up. It'll do the calculations, and it'll put you right on the center of that pin. There you go. Easy as can be. Now, if you've written down your location of that pin, now you know exactly where to zero. You zero off that pin and your fixture is perfectly aligned. So that's, uh, that's what I've uh, got for you today. Also on our fixture plate we have these small pins and what we do is we'll put the plate up against that so not only are we located in this orientation where we're using the pin for our location we also are oriented so that we know these are precision drilled holes and we know that our plate now is square to the table so I hope you enjoyed that it's a really cool little uh, accessory it'll work uh, on your Centroid and as I said other manufacturers have similar devices um, if you're really handy you can actually build your own but that's far beyond the scope of this little video so again, enjoy, have a great day, and thanks for watching.